G'day Bruce, here I am again. Um, after I, I've sent um, the, the first video on how to um, fix those audio settings, you, you, um, the email I sent you, uh, on there was a thing that I called a URL that I told you to click, uh, and that plays the video. That's that's the what they call the URL. That's the um, that's how you find that actual each individual site. Anyway, uh, it it I'll show you on my email. Now, don't take any notes of the colours or the what's on here, but up here, that's what you call the URL. So, all we when um, what I'm going to show you is you, you just need to do that right click and copy now we'll just get out of there for a moment now to save this so you can pull on it whenever you need to use it go down to Skype ah uh, Skype start um, all programs uh, and up to accessories. Now on there you'll see notepad. Click notepad and that will come up there like that. So you've, you've got that, you've clicked on that URL in the email, uh, it blew it up and you, you save, uh, you copy. So now at this point it's, to, it's in your mouse. So all you do is right click and paste. Now that URL is now there. Now so that you can use it whenever you need to use it at a later date, uh, we'll save it. So file, save as, now it'll come up in a minute, uh, save as, um, I'll just get rid of that. Uh, save as, um, Fix or Skype audio Pixel Skype audio settings. Okay, that's what we'll, we'll call it. So that when you're looking for it at a later date, uh, and we'll save it into your uh, your documents. Um, and you click save. Now we'll just have a look in my documents because that's where I'm so. Um, hang on, I might do this a different way. Hang on, I'll, I'll do this a different way, Bruce, because this. Go to your start document, your documents. Wait till that comes up. Now it'll be under, it was named Fix for. Uh, fix for Skype audio settings, so it'll be under an F. Uh, where am I? H I J K M N F. Where am I? Not too far. 
but the hell is that? Beyond the F somewhere. Yeah. E C D E Fix for Skype audio settings. So that if you need it at a, a later date, all you need to do is click it and it will come up. Now once again you highlight that. Just put your cursor against it, hold it and run it along and while it blues it up. Put your cursor on it again, right click and copy. <coughs> okay, you don't need that anymore. So we'll get rid of that. I'll get rid of that. Now you go to I don't know how you find you go to Internet Explorer for your Google, so I've got mine set on my screen here. I'll go to Google and once again don't take any notice of the background page or anything like that. Now you've got that saved on your, your mouse so go up here to your address uh, right click, uh, left click sorry then right click and paste. Now that is gone in there. <coughs> on your keyboard Hang on, where have I got the keyboard? I'll just bring it up. Where the hell is it? Um, well, I'll be confusing you there. Yeah, there's a keyboard. Uh, on your keyboard, um, it's named differently here, but I would think it would be insert. We'll get out of there. Just on your on your keyboard on your desk, click enter. And nothing bloody happened. <coughs> probably probably because it was not alive. Click enter. There, and it's brought it up. Now you can then it'll now run. And go. if you want them to go, go to, this hang on, I've got a bloody um, ant walking around my yeah, screen. You can go to full screen. You can go to full screen. That's more or less it. And then you can just, you know, it'll, it'll just jog your memory. Alright, I'll get out of there. Stop that. And that's just about it, Bruce. So uh, it probably sounds confusing, but um, just to run through it again with you, um, uh, you've got. I've sent you the email with the URL, so I'll just bring that up. Now there's the URL. It's already blued up. You just run your your mouse along it like that. Right click and copy. So you can go back out of there now. Um, now to save that so that you've got it at a later date, just go to Start, All Programs, Accessories up here, Accessories, you'll see Notepad. Click Notepad, and when Notepad comes up you just right click and paste. That URL is there now there. Okay, now you want to save that into your documents. Save as. We'll come up in a second. Once again, you name it. Fix for audio uh, Skype settings, whatever you name it there. And just click save. See, it won't save now because I haven't written it its name in. But that's how and it will go into your um, your documents I and mean, you just find it under F, well in my case I named it Fix 4 so it will be under F. Alright, well that's just about it I think, hang on I'll just uh, shrink that down out of the way and that's it my friend, um, I can always uh, um, pull this up if you get confused with it um, and pull it up and share the screen like I can. 
Alright? Okay, we'll call out a day. Done.